Rocks Campground on Cape Cod. That's what we're looking at today. The campground is right on Route 6, which is the main thoroughfare across Cape Cod. And so it gets very busy during the day. Getting in and out can be a little bit of a challenge, especially if you're hauling a trailer. The campground is filled with all sorts of cute little pieces of architecture, particularly around the entrance here. So the campground is laid out in a manner such that the main road in it goes all the way around in a loop. And then there are lanes that uh, cross from one side to the other. The cross streets are appropriately named for Cape Cod, like Flounder Street, Lobster Lane, Kelp Lane, GU11 Lane, oh, I'm sorry, that's Gull Lane. And most of the sites, I would say, are pull through. There's a few that aren't but the majority of them are, and they can accommodate very large rigs. They can also accommodate little teardrops. The sites are a little close together, but I guess that's to be expected in a tourist area like Cape Cod. It is more of a RV park type setup rather than a campground. It's still very, very nice. Each site is very clearly marked. They come with water and power, and it's got a little light on the front here so that if you want to hook up in the dark, you can actually flip that switch on and the light will come on and you can see what you're doing. That's really nice. Also comes with cable TV hookup, but we didn't use that because we don't have the cable to connect to it. I should get that. And of course, come to the picnic table and fire pit. You are required to support your sewer hose up off the ground. There is some parking for extra vehicles or boats at the end of a couple of the lanes. However, you better have a permit, I guess. There is a tent camping section where there are no other sewer or electricity hookups. It's very nice, very picturesque, but it is right next to the highway. In the very back of the park, there are more tent camping sites. Oh, there's a cat down there. The cat. In the back of the campground, there is one single outhouse. That's because there is no sewer service back here. These last couple of sites, they're designed for tent camping. They do have a very nice children's play area with multiple pieces of play equipment. It's right behind the main building. And they've got a dog park over here. The nice thing about the dog park is it is divided into two areas, one for the small dogs and one for the large dogs. It's landscaped very well and the grounds are well taken care of, I can say. They have a very nice utility building here and they do get out and clean the campsites right away after people leave. They have one large single bathhouse here, which the single door there, you go in, there's two bathrooms, one for the ladies, one for the men, and the laundry is right in there. The laundry facilities have four washing machines, two dryers, apparently a limit of two people in the restrooms at all times. Face masks must be worn. Restroom facilities are very clean as well. One thing I did notice is that there were not a lot of bugs or spiders or anything caught up in the overhead and the lights or in the corners. That's a sign that it's very well taken care of. On the back side of the bathhouse, they actually have the showers, which are indoor showers. They have an outside dishwashing station. They have a fish cleaning station, which is separate from the dishes station. Look, you can hang your catch of the day over here. I guess, I don't know for sure, but my guess is that they also allow the storage. There's also dogs allowed. He's a beaut. But they should be on leash and you do need to clean up after them. I did see a good number of kids around and uh, there's a lot of people who like to ride their bikes around. I found the campsites to be very quiet at night, um, which is odd. For, I would think that uh, camping down here in Cape Cod you have a lot of party people, but it wasn't. It was mostly all families and uh, everybody's very respectful, very friendly. Oh, there's a couple we kind of appreciate that. Just to the south of the campground is a little nature trail you can take. Um, I don't know where it goes because I didn't uh, finish it. 
Looks like it goes up to that uh, storage area up there. Oh, that's kind of fun. Probably a tank that they set out front during the uh, Halloween season, huh? There's no river or stream, and there's no access to the ocean from this campground. You would have to drive down the block and turn right and head up to the Nasser Lighthouse area to access the beach. While we were here, the National Beach was actually closed. And the only way to get to that beach is by tram service, and if there's a center, the trams weren't running anyways. They do have a game room here, but it was closed due to COVID-19 issues. We're going to take a look inside the camp store here and registration office. Yeah. Yeah, the store I, find, I, got one, uh, I got there last night. We have sweatshirts and all sorts of little knickknacks. They have these stones scattered throughout the campground as well. Who doesn't like a cute little baby seal? Look, a beach bag. No, it's not. Can't come to Cape Cod without a beach bag. That's right. They do have a little toy section for the, to for the kids as well. And makings for s'mores and stuff, but not a lot of kitchen stuff. Got some other stuff here cleaning stuff. What they are well stocked up on is actual camping equipment stuff. Charcoal, gas, shower heads. Apparently you can only have one family in the store at a time, which is pretty much true across all the campgrounds due to the COVID-19 issues. But it shouldn't be too big of a problem. Overall, I'd say this was a really, really nice campground. I'd recommend it uh, if you're going to stay on Cape Cod. Um, the service is great. The store was great. The uh, site was good. Um, they are just a little close to each other, but that's to be expected in a tourist area like that. Well, that concludes our campground review for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it benefits your uh, RV experience, your camping experience, whatever they may be. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, I hope you'll give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, go ahead and give it a thumbs down. You won't hurt our feelings. And we would ask that you would subscribe to our channel to help uh, YouTube understand how many people are actually watching it. If you'd like, click the notification bell to let you know when we drop a video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the streets. Horses in the drive-thru at Dunkin' Donuts.